Hey, Mark. What? We sold the hippo salt pepper shakers that you found. Good morning and happy Saturday. Well, it's Saturday for me. Hey, Mark, say good morning to everybody. Good morning. Everybody loves it when Mark's in the video. He is here at the shop with me today. What are you going to do today to Mark? Come um, here. Come here and talk to people. They, they, they miss seeing you in the video. I'm working on the square register just this morning. Yeah. And we then as soon as Jaden wakes up, I'm going to go upstairs and finish painting. They've been painting some walls in Jaden's apartment. But we in a pop-up shop update. Pop-up shop update. <laughs> Pop-up shop update. So we had a square system when our brick and mortar was open um, that we used the, uh, an iPad with. And then we got, this is the cash drawer. You know, Mamma mia's pizzeria. Um, it's the typical one you'd see at a coffee shop or whatever. Yeah, and then we've got the receipt printer here. Um, but we did order a new stand, I guess. Holder, iPad yeah. holder. And and a card reader. And a card reader. Well, I mean, that's what came with it. Ooh, it's an unboxing from Square. Unboxing from Square. What's that? Just the packaging for oh. this, so it stays Looks in Looks just like the other one. Pretty oh, no, okay, yeah. Here where you can stick your tip in there or do the, the tap. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So then this fits on here. Well, actually, we have a little... Um, Mark's going to attach it to a little... Uh, cutting board. Cutting board thing. that we can just... Like a lazy Susan, flip it over so they can tap cards, and you it you put the card in right there. What's this on the back? Nothing. I don't know. I don't think anything. I think it's just a protective film. So that sits up there like that. So we accept credit cards uh, if you come to the pop up. But so we had this cash register. Here, let me let me flip the camera around. So we had this cash register and receipt printer from the last it's time. so dirty. I know. It's been sitting in the camera <laughs> for years or whatever. So we had this. I just want to make sure that it still works. With, with everything. With everything else. Make sure I don't need any new cords. Oh, look. Wildflower Antiques. That was our old brick and mortar. Inklings Bookstore still open. And then this is um, what the square looked like in 1976. The east side of the square. Hey, do we? Hey, there's money in there. Hey, you find <laughs> all kinds of things you're looking for. Oh, there's chapstick in there too, and that. But anyway, that's what he's gonna do today. I'm getting ready to do the affirmations, and I need to edit a video. But we did have a sale on eBay overnight. It was actually one of these little girls that I was gonna bring to. I I cross listed a couple things over on eBay, and this little Joseph. As soon as I list these little joseph angels they sell they do not the numbered ones the ones with the birthday numbers i don't like for the ages i don't get those um, but she sold within 24 hours i did take a best offer so i'm gonna get her ready to go i also need to answer some emails i had some people send me emails about a few things this recycled paper is getting out of control i need to start <laughs> using this paper before I use that paper. I have another box that I brought from home too, but my word, I do recycle everything. This is just getting way out of control. So I got to remember to use, I don't know how I don't remember to use that since I pretty much have to straddle it when I'm working. My brain's like, that's easy. Okay, so we're going to get her ready and all right, let's go over and let's do, oh, I want to show you real quick before we do that. I got this from my friend Sandy, little Daphne B. That's going to go to Sandy today. And I did buy a Palm Springs book at one of the antique malls I went to over last weekend. But let's go ahead and we'll do our affirmations. Oh, before, before we do the affirmations, Mark and I started doing this. So if you come to the pop-up and you have like your branded sticker, you know how we all do. We all love our stickers. Um... I'm going to cover, I want, my goal is to cover this table with stickers from people that come to the pop-up. And if you don't have one, just bring one from your state. Yeah, just bring one from your state. Just bring a sticker that represents you. Um, so I've got, now these are coming. I do, I did a, um, cause you know, I like my gooses. So I did create a new sticker. I haven't gotten it yet, but it could be part of the Silly Goose Association as well. Um, but Purple Bandana Resale, Stay Weird, Mimi's Treasure Cottage, 
someone had sent me that, Jack Russell. I'd flip that, reseller showdown, sugar britches, meow meow, enamor Amy, the Misty Show, Thrifter Junker, Madeline, heavy metal, metal trinket queen, more Mimi, more Thrifter, Foxbird Vintage, and we can't forget Fatbird Finds and Alabucky Bama. Ooh, Fatbird, you about fell off. So when I have this table all, because it's kind of a gross and grody table, when it's all covered, we might put like a, some sort of like a shellac on it. Are we going to do that? No. Or spray adhesive or something to make something. We might do something, but I want it covered. So bring sticker from your state. The last pop-up I did, everyone signed an autograph dog. For that one he's over there but this year i want or this time or this year yeah this year because this will be throughout the next three pop-ups that we do this year um i want to cover these ta this table with merch stickers that represent different states that sort of thing i may even could even get some sharpies out people could sign their name on the table i don't know if that would be would that be trashy <laughs> Could it be any trash here? I don't know, but all right, let's get the affirmation done. You know, today is February 1st, Mark. No, it's not. It isn't? You know what? Today is February 2nd. No, it's not. Is it the 3rd? It's March. Oh, golly. 2nd. Okay. Did you guys know... <laughs> Did you know that it was March 2nd? I never know where I am or what day it is. How did I, how did I survive 49 years, 48 years? I don't even know how old I am. 48 years on this planet. I don't know. Okay, today is the 2nd, right? Of March. I got to make sure I'm correct before I start reading the affirmation. Okay, cultivate Hope. Cultivate hope above all else. Allow it to permeate your life and seep into your heart. There will be times when you are on top of the world and others where you find yourself in a heap of tears. Boy, that's the truth. Both are necessary, but without hope, nothing else is possible. What gives you hope? Who gives you hope? These become your resources and when the world around you seems too dark to bear, they become your beacon of light and your reminder of hope. I had seen, and I don't remember who the name of this person is. It was, I was scrolling on Instagram and there was a family who, it was a young family, um, a mom with two young kids and a dad who'd recently passed away from colon cancer. And now this mom is a single mom raising these two young children without their dad. And I think, you know, there are instances like that that you see play out. And it makes you wonder, how do they see their hope? I mean, if you've gone through something very traumatic by the loss of a loved one, I have friends that have recently lost loved ones. And it alters your life. And it does probably make you seem like, what is the hope? You know, what is there look forward to? But I think that the people that have gone through some sort of trauma like that are the strongest people in this world. And they should be the ones that people look up to. Um, if they have, they've got that resilience and they're still, you know, moving on with their life and carrying on with their life. And I don't know. I think that there's just something really honorable about that because what, what what most people would just completely crush them in a million pieces. Sometimes people take all those pieces that they've been crushed with and they rebuild those into yeah. something that can be like a beacon of light and hope to others. So if that is you, then I admire your strength. Um, where most people would just crumble, you've persevered. So, and I guess sometimes too, if you look at, if you've got things that are going on like horribly wrong in your life, you know, what is one little thing, one little thing? It could be, you know, your, because trust me, and I say this, sometimes cats are fickle, but when your cat comes up to you and just wants you to love on them, you know, just something little like that can give you hope. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it actually can. Mark, you want to come, come here and pick our card? Don't give me that look. 
People want to see your hand, Mark. Pick our card today. I'll go in the middle. Don't look. I'm not. Watch out. Gotta let fate pick the card. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. My blank looks, weight, body does not measure my worth. Fill in the blank. My big butt does not measure my worth. Now, some people's big butts do measure their worth, you know. Mine doesn't. Scatterbrainness, I guess, doesn't measure my worth. Because sometimes my scatterbrainness can be entertaining and make people laugh. So there you go. Let's read the back of this, see if we've got any uh, clear understanding. But your opinion about yourself is formed by your thoughts. It can be the rich, you can be the richest man alive, but feel miserable about yourself. Or you can be the person that wakes up in the morning feeling blessed for waking up. It's your call. So do you, do, do having all of the money in the world, does that really measure your worth? No. Because you could still be miserable. But if you wake up every morning and you look and you're like, hey, today's a new day full of possibilities. That's what we all should be looking at right there. And the amount of money that you have or prestige or subscribers or X, Y, and D, X, Y, and Z does not measure who you are as a person. I like that. We, we figured that out, Mark. Good, Yay us. Yeah, yeah. Yay us. Okay, so I'm going to go through a box. Two boxes um, that dad, two of dad's boxes. I'll point the camera down. Um, and then I'm going to unwrap everything that I, that I bought yesterday. I went to, um, well, I went to Riverside. And I went to Washboard Antiques here in Bedford. Both of which will be open and ready to go for the pop-up if you're here. Both great places to go. Highly recommend. Um, I'll put both of their information in the description. Washboard Antiques is open by appointment only. You can follow her on Facebook and she does post when she is open. So I got some great things over there. And we'll do a haul. We'll do a little bit of a haul. Oh, hey. I also wanted to remind you that Vamp Blitz 2. Starting over in my antique virtual antique booth on Virtual Antique Marketplace. And then a lot of other sellers following up until 9.30, winding it down, winding it down, wrapping it up on Michael's channel booth, The Cult of Vintage. So, I hope to see you Monday night. All right, let's, let's aim this down. Okay, we got two boxes. Let's do this big one first. First of all, let's look at the box. It's a, it's a cigar box. The cigars contained in this box are guaranteed to be strictly high grade and made by skillful work men. Charles Denby. These were his cigars. Indianapolis. It still has a little bit of the tax stamp on there from Indianapolis. That's kind of cool. All right, let's open her up. Oh, there's the inside. Charles Denby. There he is. I like smoke my cigars. They're good. Oh, even got some of the paperwork on the inside. All right, I'll set this bag aside. Look at these little Marlboro. I can never say it. Marlboro. How do you say that? Marlboro. But they're little lot matches. Yeah, they're stick matches. But look, they look like little cigarette boxes. But you can open them up like a little cigarette box. They're like it's like perforated right there. So there's what three of those. Oh, that's the Diablo. El Diablo. This says Presico Max, Alabama. Fosforos El Diablo. Oh my gosh, look at these matches. Look at that. Those are different. So we, I don't know, I'll have to look these up. We got one, two, three. Three of those. Then we've got some more matchboxes. Uh, Akron 71 West Truck Stop. Potomac and Western. That's Ohio. Ohio. Ooh, look. Chesterfield. What was this? Chesterfield. Oh, it's the best for you, Mark. 
Just the best. When you are asked to try a cigarette, you want to know and you ought to know that the cigarette has meant to people who smoke it all the time. For a full year, a medical specialist has given a group of Chesterfield smokers thorough examinations every two months. He re Oh, this is not true. Fake news. He reports no adverse effects to their nose, throat, or sinuses from smoking Chesterfields. Okay. What about lungs? Did you check their lungs, doctor? Complimentary. Boy, they were giving away cigarettes back in the day. Chesterfield is best for you. Yeah, right. Emgies. For mate. Then we've got, oh, we need to give these to your dad, Mark Delco Remy. That's where Mark's dad retired from. Mark and I both worked at Delco Remy. United Delco. What's this one? The Huddle, the Huddle House. Where was the Huddle House at? That sounds so familiar to me. I don't see Indiana, but I know the Huddle House sounded familiar to me. That's a really cool design, though. Very mid century, the Huddle House. Charbroiled Huddle Burger, Town Motel, downtown Anderson, Indiana. Look, here's Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah and Uncle John's Honey Dip Chicken, Richmond's ver original pancake house. Let me know in the comments if you guys know of any of these places. This is Hennis Freight Lines out of Indiana, Ohio. Kentucky, Michigan, West Virginia. 7-Up, the Uncola, and then Las Palmas Beach Hotel. Puerto, Velar Puerto Velarto, Mexico. Oh, I thought you were laughing at me. You are. <laughs> Ernie's Mexican Restaurants for the finest in Mexican food. What are you laughing at? Hey, that was in North Hollywood. And Hollywood. All right, so there's a bunch of matches in here. I don't know. Let me know if you know of any of these places. Portillas. Portillas. What's in this bag? This looks like a bunch of Boy Scout stuff. We've got... Actually, I think that's Girl Scouts. That's a Girl Scout knife, I think. I don't know these. Is that Girl Scouts? I'll have to look these up. This is... What in the world? What is this? What is this? It's got a Girl Scout or Boy Scout emblem on it. What would that be for? Hey, Mark. What? What is this? Does this pop off of here? Here, I'll give this to Mark and see if Mark knows what that is. It's got a girl. Is that Girl Scout or Boy Scout on the bottom? Is that Girl Scout? I think that's Girl Scout. Uh, yeah, I think so. This is from the 1962 Scout Fair. I think it might have been a scarf. I feel like that's Boy Scouts. That's Boy Scouts. What about that? That's Girl Scouts. That knife. Yeah. That's girls. Girls had knives. That's this is Boy Scouts. This one's Girl Scouts. I think isn't this one Boy Scouts and this one's Girl Scouts? Yeah, the pointy one is. Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts. Girls have curves. Uh, maybe that's how I remember it. There's another button there. And that's a bobcat. <laughs> then these are um, Boy Scout for your little scarves. That one's a Cub Scout. And that one is another Boy Scout thing. So, Boy Scouts. I think he's got a couple other Boy Scout things, but these I'll probably will put on eBay. No, we'll have to add those to the list of things I need to... Oh, <laughs> that made a fun noise. Mark's still trying to figure out what that metal thing is. It's bizarre. And then there's this little box. Is that a lighter? Are you Ronson? You're a Ronson lighter. Whoops. Another one of those little um, license plate keychain. Hey, are you Boy Scouts? 
Sustained Alaska. It's a little pin. There's another. This one's from Indiana. That one's from Kentucky. 1965. 1975. That's when I was born. That's just a little smiley face button right there. Can you see? Do I need to aim this down a little bit more? Sorry. That's a lock. I don't think it goes to this, though, because there's no place to lock. There's another dog tag. Some of these things I probably... I'm compiling another junk jar. Look, there's this box. And then the rest of these things. I think these are might be more dog tags. Blackfoot dog tax tag from 1941. That's a coin with a hole drilled in it. I don't know what that one's from. I can barely read it. Another dog tag from 1934. It's another coin that I cannot read. Another dog tag from 1933. Dog tag from 1933. What was that one from? 34. Is that all the dog tags? That says, this is one penny. Some foreign currency. That, that's a dinosaur. I think that's from the San Diego Zoo. That's another foreign currency coin. So is that one. And that one. And that one. That says Nebraska. Nebraska something. Oklahoma, where the winds come. Bum, 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 bum. It says it's the Sooner State. Oklahoma. Some of these are really hard to read. Maybe I'll have Mark put them in his little cleaning. Ultrasonic cleaning. Maybe it'll clean them up a little bit. So we can read them a little bit more. But we'll see how those dog... I don't know. I kind of like the dog tags a little roach like that. But these will get cleaned up a little bit. But that's... That's Dad's boxes for this... For this week. So, let me know about those matches if you recognize any of those places. I don't know. That Chesterfield one's kind of, that's really kind of funny. I wonder if these were like little mini cigarettes. You know what I bet this is? What? A match holder. Maybe? Maybe a match holder. Well, that would so be. So, any loose matches? Yeah. So. Do, look at these from oh. El Diablo. Hold on a second. Look at these matches. Teeny, tiny. I know. Okay. So, I think. So, it'll keep your matches dry? Yeah. And then, and then you would, I bet that's what it is. When you said matches, it just like dawned on me that I bet that's a match holder. And then that's what that rubber gasket is to keep everything. To keep everything dry. You're so smart, Mark. Oh, do we? Keep the matches in there. Probably not. Probably not. Probably would be a good idea. Okay, well, we figured out that mystery. A lot of you are probably like, Who's the match? We don't hold matches! <laughs> You're just waiting to hold the matches! It holds matches. We think. <laughs> we think. Okay, so I am going to get everything unwrapped that I... Well, I, I also need to edit a video. I'm going to edit a video... And I'm going to get things unwrapped. When I do, after I get all that done, then we'll do a little bit of a, we'll do a little bit of a haul video. And Mark's got the square up and going, so I think it's good. No? Not yet. We think it's going to work. Yay. I, it was a little, I, how much was that? It wasn't that, ex like $150? This, just the square stand was $150. So it's you gotta, not. You got to add your own. Yeah, the big expense is the cash drawer and the receipt printer. For some reason, those were, we bought those years ago when we had our brick and mortar open, but the square system is great, and it, it's something that we're, we've, we've used it, we are used to it, so that's what we're going to go with as far as um, keeping track of everybody's sales, not just ours, but everyone that's having um, booths in here, we can keep track of them by, I'm giving everybody a specific color of tag, and then they'll have a number assigned to them as well. So, all right, I'm gonna get to editing and unwrapping. Okay, I just had, I had a meeting with some of my VAMP sellers, um, just did a Zoom call with them, getting ready for the blitz. 
Sunday night, which is tonight. 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 Starting at 6. All right, but I'm going to show you. I got, oh, look at all of that stuff. It's so cute. So cute. So let me show you what I bought yesterday. All right, from Riverside, I got a Daphne B. That's so cute. I got two of these Taiwan swung vases in the cobalt blue, a QB tea set, a QB music box. Wait, look. You can turn it on and off. This little, like, hey, like my, ba my basket of flowers. Adorable. Little cutie there. Um, these are little mugs. This is Baby's First Christmas. They're from Inesco. Baby's First Christmas. So two different, I guess a boy and a girl. I guess a girl and a boy. Two different little mugs there in their box. This little studio painted mermaid. She's cute. These, I'm going to put these in a buyer's choice sale. They are little, or I'm going to add them to the buyer's choice. Like that one's Valentine's Day. They're little ceramic Inesco um thimbles but they're like eastery and i think that if you have which i've got one here you know you've got a printer shelf they fit perfectly in there like that so i don't know i'm gonna i, I got those there's like all these little spring ones here these because i need to take these home because my or put them over here with my cupies because my cupies need an easter basket i might do that before i leave here i got Oh, wait, look at these little wooden ones. There's a little goose, a little wooden thimble, and a bunny. Those are cute. So those are going to go in the uh, tiny treasures on Vamp. Look at this little tiny treasure bird. That's going to go over there, too. This is Ron Ray. I can't see. Ron Ray something can't see the day. I got another amber flower frog this one's a little bit different than that one so i got a big bigger one and a smaller one i'm having a little collection of these flower frogs oh i got another another one i got this black one another black one just like this one that i got i've got like a whole little bowl of flower frogs right here i love them and then some more cupies look at this one this is a cameo, or no, Jesco. Jesco, cupie, the little heart on its chest. These are also Jesco. So we've got this little girl. She's got money. She got, you got a bunch of money there, girl. Are you the tooth fairy? Do you have a bag of teeth? Play and display edition. I don't think that opens up. But look, we've got a Robin Hood, cupie. And look at her. She's got her little dress, her little heart dress on. So I got the three of those vinyl dolls. A nun planter. She is Napco. Uh, that's all I got from Riverside. Yeah, that's all I got from Riverside. And then I went over to Washboard Antiques here in Bedford. And I got a stack full of hankies. Uh, some of these things, like I'm, I'm going to be bringing probably the hankies to Tuesday's sale. And I got these two Nestler eggs, this large one and the smaller one. I'm going to bring those to Tuesday sale. This is very interesting to me. This is Revlon. Two long-lasting Revlon lipsticks. But it's still in. They're both still in here. Well, that one's having a hard time getting that one out. But they're the little bullet lipsticks. And they're still in here. I don't know if it, hang on, let me open this. I mean, that's still in there. That, she is still in there. Put that back on there. I just thought those were interesting. I'll put that all back together here in a minute. Butt snuffer. You can put your cigarette out on her butt. That's going to go in a tiny treasure sale too, which is going to be Thursday at 1. Um, I love that. Look, they're, look at a little, little hippo in a dress on roller skates. Uh, on the other, this is crown potteries. And on the other side, we got a pig flying a goose with a pipe. That's fun. 
This is a NAPCO piggy bank. The stopper's in there flopping around. I got several little pig items. Look at this pig. Hey, look at his little hands. Oh my gosh, I could not resist. Angie, furrowed brow, little hand, heart on his chest, pig. And then this one, this is a Wade. Wade, England. Piggy bank. That's the biggest piece of weight I've ever seen. I got the Bambi, well, they're not licensed, Disney, but the bookends, the Bambi Deer bookends. Lots of really fun salt and pepper shakers. Look at this little guy. He's got his little monkey. He works hard for his money. And then this is a cow, a very goofy looking cow with the milkman. Those are salt and pepper shakers. And then these little kitty cats. Meow, meow. Little gray cat and her little brown cat for, or dog. I don't know if you're a cat or... I'm going to say you're a dog. You got long ears. Dogs. And then we got babies. Got a little boy baby and a little girl baby. And they both have their little diapy pins. This is a little pig with its little baby pig. Uh, this is a boat. Not the Titanic, but has a little sailor. And then these little smokestacks are the salt and pepper shakers. I got some nodders, some deer, and some chickens. This is, don't forget, but you can hold your recipe card. It's got a little clip right there. And then it's got a matching salt and pepper shaker with it. I just thought that was interesting. Um, dancing pink bull salt and pepper shakers that are, that says Catalina. I'm assuming California. Catalina. That's the Catalina wine mixer. It's the Catalina MF wine mixer. There we go. Let me know in the comments if you know what movie that's from. And then these little monkeys, that's their cousin. They're, they, they like to hug. And then this, it says, hi, friend. Oh, can you see that? Hi, friend. It's a wiener dog. And he wraps all the way around his fire hydrant condiment with a spoon. That's fun. And then look at this. That is a little reader. It's a McGuffey's reader salt and pepper shaker with the little school bell. ding -a ling -a ling That's cute. And then there's this. This is just weird enough. You know, it's from New Mexico. My two front teeth. One, two. <laughs> it's just weird enough. Luther Ceramic from Tempe, Arizona. I thought that was fun. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Those are the salt and pepper shakers. So that's what I got from um, Washboard Antiques. So that was a fun trip. Very fun. I got to put all this stuff away on the shelf. But all those things are going to be coming up very soon in either a buyer's choice sale on Virtual Antique Marketplace. Oh, I'll have to show you my earrings in a minute too. Or in my YouTube live sales or just listed on Vamp or eBay. I got these at Southern Roots Flea Market here in Bedford from... Uh, the earring impaired their little uh, good luck bears. I forgot that I bought those yesterday too. So I went ahead and stuck those on. And I got cold and stuck on my dinosaur sweater while I'm here. Tonight is game night. Mm, it's been a long time too. We haven't had game night in several weeks. So it is needed. So we are going to pick up some food. Go over to Cindy's house. Have our game night. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, what am I going to do now? I I am going to start editing. I'm going to start editing this video so I can clean my house tomorrow. Because if I start editing this video, I might be able to actually get my house cleaned up and take down my Valentine's Day. At some point, I'll show you what I did with those big blow mold, mm, not marshmallows, mushrooms. I'm going to integrate them in my spring and Easter displays. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to go ahead and get this video edited. Not much of a shop update other than we've got the, um, the square system ready to go. 
We have a meeting with the city to get the graphic put on the window. I'm working on, I'm going to have shirts and merch from, for the, the collaborative and also my own personal shirts I will have available here as well as virtual antique marketplace merch that will all be available here at the pop-up and you can only get them at the pop-up until afterwards and then I might have some left over and then I'll sell them but I got to save them for the people that are coming here to the physical location first they'll get they'll get dibs again if you are planning on coming check out there's lots of different Airbnbs in the area uh, two hotels in Bedford that I would recommend is the Holiday Inn Express and the Hampton Inn and Suites those are the two that I recommend there are several other in surrounding cities um but that's just what i would recommend and honestly if you have any other questions you can just send me an email and i can i can help as much as i can all right i am going to well i'll pop in at game night tonight just so you can i can just fill you in on that, that fun and excitement i know that you will be on pins and needles um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started editing this video. I also, I'll just show you really, really quick um, the things that I've pulled for Tuesday's YouTube sale. I've got some of these pink and yellow bunny uh, banks, some more Nestler eggs. I guess I'm bringing some Nestler eggs. Okay, wait till you see. Okay, these two things right here. Let me get this ready and I'll, and I'll show you. Okay, are you watching? Look, those little bunnies are eating their carrots. Do you see that? They kiss and they're like, okay, we're gonna eat now. Ah, it's a little plastic bunnies eating carrots. They kiss, all that fun thing. I got some cupies, the pigs, the seals, several pieces of ephemera, and then look at this. I've had held on to this for a little while. Look at this. It is a little wooden box and then we open it up and look at that bunny on the inside. It is a cloth face, little jack-in-the-box bunny. Look at the little chicks and stuff. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. So that's going to be Tuesday. Also, big blue Daphne bunny. Big blue, big blue Daphne bunny is going to be in Tuesday sale as well as her. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. I got to fix her hat there. That's the biggest celluloid doll I have ever seen. She's going to be available. And I've got the alabaster eggs. So that's going to be Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern on my YouTube channel. Busy week. And then I'm taking the week off. So next week is going to be my last week of sales. And I'm taking a week off because Mark and I are going on a trip again. So um, that's the story with that. But I'm going to go ahead and start getting a video edited. And I'll see you in a little bit. So picking, picking up our food for game night tonight, and it's funny because Mark is going there to pick up Chinese food for him and Cindy and Todd, but not me. I like Japan, so I'm, I'm getting my Japanese, and they're right next door to one another, so he goes over there and I go in here. Okay, we're at, you guys remember Cindy? We're at Cindy's house and we just, she had Chinese, I had Japanese. I showed them where it's at. Yes. And I just go get my rice. But look at these cupcakes that Cindy made. <laughs> Show them your cupcakes, Cindy. We had to have some fun for Leap Day. So look at the little frogs for Leap Day. I couldn't figure it out. Was it? Do you call the day Leap Day or Leap Year Day? Well, it's a Leap Year, but that day is Leap Day. Right. I ha I was very I was very confused on that whole yes. part of it. And let's say hi to the kitties. I know where Goomba is. Goomba. This is Goomba. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi, Goomba. Goomba. He's in his little warmy bed. I don't know where Zora is. She's She was just eating. Oh, there she is, Zora. Zora. There's no one down there, Zora. Zora. She's like, leave me alone, I'm taking a bath. Taking a bath, guys. And then we're getting ready to play. There's Todd. Todd, what are we what are we getting ready to play? Ticket to Ride Legacy. Ticket to Ride Legacy. It looks very confusing. Um, I am always last. I'm no, always the loot. No, mm. no, I think you get your run for your money. 
I don't know. But you know what? We just like to have fun. So this is, you know, the Ticket to Ride game that we all know, we all love. This is the Legacy, and it's so much fun. So we're going to do this, and then I'll probably will be the loser. But we'll we'll find out. I'll let you know who the winner was at the end of the at the end of the night. Oh, look, in my other vlogs, I've talked about the old pro prospector. See, there he is. He's hanging out with all the gold. He's looking for gold. Gold prospector. So, guess who didn't win? Mark. Guess who came in last? Mark. But he's, listen, he always wins. Every time. Every, Every these time. two win oh, all. That's the winner side. This is the loser. Loser. Side. He lost because the bridge was out <laughs> to San Francisco. Well, and he yeah, couldn't, he couldn't fix his train. The bridge was out, and I held back two of my locomotive cars so I could fix my train. I couldn't find one. Well, but I anyway. So uh, Todd <laughs> was won. the big winner. Yes. I came in second, and then Cindy. I was not last for once. And then Mark. But we still like you, Mark. You played a good game. Well, good morning. It is Sunday. You're going to watch this video this afternoon. I didn't do an ending last night, and I'm getting ready to edit it. Right, Maybell? We're getting ready to edit our video. But I just wanted to say thank you again for watching. And um, I'm going to get this video edited, and then I'm going to work on getting Valentine's Day down here at the house. So that's, that's the plan today. Tonight is the very first night of the Vamp Blitz. I may go. So Blitz 2. So that's going to be tonight at 6 p.m. And then Monday night, also at 6 p.m., another fast-paced Blitz sale. So I hope that you can come and um, support all of these sellers. And, you know, again, there are several sell sellers in this Blitz that it's their very, very, very first live sale. So come and support them and show them some love and give them a little bit of confidence so they can keep going. So that would be a really nice thing to do. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one. Take a ball, hit him, the hand power's hair in the middle. I'm a red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down. Search for miles around and no one like me can be found.